So I want to be careful. I, like I said, I want that bump to come out. A little bit. I think it needs still more shaping, but... Now, before I dig deep on that, I want to make sure I got this going here. Bit of scar there. All right, that's kind of good for now. Well, like I said, we'll, we'll clean that up and all. But major thing we want here. Now, as I mentioned in the, uh, let me get a little drink here. As I mentioned, uh, with the, the um, carving the bird with the, the bird Santa with the birds, um, being kind of a thinner piece of wood, it's going to be kind of a bit difficult. What you could do is um, just simply round it off, paint it, and call it good. You can do that. But I want to go at least, we'll do a cardinal here, just a simple cardinal. And what I did, I used the knife under the under the wings. We could just simply do, you know, just a V tool and then just cut under the wings instead of using a stop cut. And we want the belly. Okay, like I said, let's see if we can just do that. With this, let's see, can we zoom in a piece? I'm make absolutely sure that I am with you here. Now if I can use the flat end to carve, and that might work. So you kind of bend that straight down, but the wing, the wing wing will be up. And then take the flat wing and that we could just start it. And same with the tail. <coughs> uh, it'd be nice to have some dimensions or some. Um, What's the word I'm trying to find? Realism or something to these birds. It, it adds. So now we don't have to put a stop cut on the wing around the belly a little bit. But remember, we got we got to go in just a little bit. So there is well, maybe a little bit of a stop cut going on here. Just a careful. And we're shrinking it thin in the tail. Yeah, I guess a good start. So it's still good to get some definition to it. That's what I was trying to say. Um, 
a little bit of roundness. Start rounding the belly and the, and the underbelly and the wing and at least you got it started and you can start rounding. Oops, are we too far off? Yes, we are. I wanna, oh, I still got more just to take off. Okay, the wings are about not at a 45 degree angle, but a, just a, a roundness to it. To, but it's still, there's more, it shows more this way than this way. But that's the best way to do it. See it? mark out of there now there we're getting there now we're gonna get to the head it said is before is we wanted about a 45 just to get to get things started so be careful you don't cut too much off Put the hackle to the point. This hackle to the point. Put this beak to the point. Which uh, there's gonna be more to sharpening that beak. So you're starting to see how it shapes like that. Is it working? marks off and I want to round the top just a little bit and then take some saw marks off around the belly around the belly Ooh, I'm starting to get that cramp in my hand again right at the catcher's mitt area there right at the lobster paw area okay let's make this into a sharper point and then round this way round this way now we're going to take the saw marks and the knife mark and the I'm sorry the pencil marks off one of the last things we want to do is we want to shrink that head a little bit now, even though this bird carving is a, a little thinner than r real, uh, kind of, sort of, we want that thinness to get onto the, so we can fit it on the tree. So we still want the roundness, but the head's thinner. And the thinner we get the belly, then I think the more or the less we need to chop down in the tree. Here, I want to the belly like that. So, <clears throat> take some of the saw marks off, rounding is, is what's left. Maybe we do have to do a little bit of a stop cut just for the sake of cleaning. Pencil marks, some more thinning, shaping, saw marks. I think that that'll do nicely. Now, as I have mentioned before, 
now this if this is the cardinal as a matter of fact if you're going to have a blue jay that would be the blue jay blue jay is bigger than a cardinal and then the cardinal if you want a cardinal you do the same thing i did here but you make sure that uh, it's a little more is not as long maybe take take a little bit of the tail off one thing i forgot about the tail is we want to um, let's take this, this and we want to round it just a little bit just a little bit of roundness here and like i said i like to keep the tails pretty thick because so it won't break or it break as easily you probably can get it thinner than that but there you have, let's just say the blue jay, the cardinal, maybe take a little bit of belly off and a little less tail, thin it a little bit. And then uh, now you got the other birds, a robin. Now robin would be the same size. Uh, or what you could do is, uh, if you haven't cut these out yet, like I said, these are th uh, three-eighths of an inch. You can make the, the um, blue jay pattern just a little bigger because most everything i think if i get my bird book bought out everything is almost the same the robin uh if you want to get now if you do a chickadee the chickadee is going to be a little shorter uh, quite a bit smaller kind of the chickadee pattern there that's going to be a bit uh, a bit quite a bit smaller or you can do that before you cut it's just as long as you know and then you pencil i think that's it because when you pencil this is going to be the chickadee oops because sometimes i get carving it oops maybe that's not what i wanted chickadee is a little smaller nuthatch is a little smaller but then when you got the um uh, especially the scarlet tanager you want that that's a red bird with a black black wing uh now you can also have uh, uh, another bird this size, and that's a cedar waxwing. Uh, have a nice cedar waxwing in a, in a tree. Um, so, like I said, you could do the other direction: is make just a little bigger cutoff for the for the blue jay, and the rest, with the exception of chickadee or a sparrow. Um, I don't know, but I would say. For the sake of this project, most let's just say most all birds are the same size. Or if you want to put a hummingbird in there, you're going to have to really put it, bring it down. And so I'm going to play with this and see how that, oh, sorry. Come on. And see how much I have to, I want to do a little bit of experimenting. I mean, it's not, a, I don't want to do this put it this way I want that to be in so it's on a branch and on top if you want to do something big what would be a nice summer uh, summer day bird I mean a crow if you want to crow uh, because are you well no you would not have an owl up there because if you have an owl up there uh, these birds would not be there if you got a bird of prey or a hawk or whatever, these birds would be, they're gone. And then he's going to, he's not going to be grinning anymore. He's going to be, get the heck out of there. Anywho. All right, I'll come back. Here we are so far. I'm sure that I got this is there. That's as wide as we can. But like I said, now we'll be playing with the the branches a little more. At least we got the branches in. Uh, we did pretty decent on the, the face or the uh, the border of the face. If you want to dig down deeper, but like I said, if you do a, uh, when you paint and you use just a little bit of watery black in there is enough. Or maybe a, a, a dark, dark blue. All right, we'll come back in a bit. All right, um, I've finished, or I'm in the process of finishing the tree here now. Uh, I've experimented with our 
Cardinal. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. Or I can just come up here. Let's do this instead. And what I did was I took the, I'll show you how to, what I did. Took my chisel. You can take a knife and made this scoop like this. Where's another one? Like I got started over here. Sort of this, like this scoop concave kind of a thing. And then I took a drill and I drilled, it's like this, I think it's the second smallest. And, and I use a toothpick and I, and I uh, uh, drilled sort of at an angle like this. So it comes down like this, come on. Comes like that, and then there's a little bit of the toothpick showing, and you can uh, paint that the same color as the legs. Now, according to the cardinal, the cardinal has sort of this uh, brownish leg here, oh. sort of a brown leg. And then some birds have black legs, and some have well, usually they're, they're usually about blackish or sort of darkish. I think robins were yellowish, orangish. But anyways, all right, what I did, let's see if I could take that out. Can I take that out? Right now, I probably could later on. I just, okay, what I did was I took either a knife. And I scoop like this. like that but I want to get a deep right here where we're gonna put the where you're gonna put a uh, bird and then we have to do this dig a little deeper here Or what I like to use is a bigger chisel, actually. And that way, when you scoop, and you make these little scoops, then it puts the extra um, little dents or waves into the tree. So let's do this one here. into that other the branch is right above it really dent that up in <coughs> if mind that in mind that you may put a bird up there that out again Again, a lot of cleaning and but do you want to do that to basically all the branches so they all look the same kind of semi-uniform ish kind of a thing 
Now I want to I do this. Now, like I said, I, I'm not sure what bird I would put on top if I put a bird on top. But if you do, make sure you leave enough wood up there. Okay, I am going to leave you to do that. See how this comes like comes in. And I drill a hole, second to the smallest. It's uh, the size, of course, of the toothpick. And you could put as many as you want on there. Now one more thing I want to show you is now that we got the face done, I still want to put, get kind of close to the face with, with some more branches here. Close. Don't inter interfere with the face too much. Let's get this a little more closer. And then I want to put maybe one right here. And one right here. Bring this in a little more. Closer to the face. Because I don't want the face to be, you know, just a face. I want it to get some <clears throat> some leave action or, or branch action in there pardon me and then down here I want to do the same because I want to have some branches in front by the face and you do the same thing we've done before Straight down, down, this is under, And so on, because this goes under. Now we won't do that, we won't do what we did up here. Uh, we don't want to do it to the face. We'll only do it to the branches. Here, let's do this. Here's the, the branch I just put in here. Let's put through this. A little bit of a twist here towards the tree part. Same here. Let's do this again here. Now this is a, like I said, number five, and it's a. Where's my ruler? It is about. Yeah, it's an inch whatever that is in millimeters. <clears throat> and you may, like I said, you may want to take a chisel 
or your knife and put these dents in like that. That adds a little more say, realism of a caricature. So. Whether we put a a um, bird on there or not. Or for all of you people who remember Charlie Brown and flying kites, and Charlie Brown always gets that kite in a tree, put that up there too. We can do that. Balloon, somebody's balloon. But that's, I'll leave you to this tedium. You do have, yes, I do have. So you want to bring this, you want to bend this in. Well, that's probably good enough. So you want to be bending this in. And you look uh, ha how it all fits the bend. So you still got to do this. But that's kind of, that's basically it. I'll come back when it's completely done and cleaned. Let me open up a brown way here. And that's kind of basically it. And you do that to all the birds. I showed you how you could, how you could, how you carve the bird. And I did one of them. I think you can figure out how to do the others. How to put that in the branch. How you can put the others in the branch. Put a, put a bird up there or whatever. Maybe your favorite bird. Can't be an owl or a hawk. Otherwise the birds will be gone. Or I can do a tree that's full of hawks, different hawks, owls. Anyways, there you are. And when I come back, it'll be all done. Well, here we have it. The finished product here is, uh, like I said, I didn't want to get into carving all the birds. I cleaned it out and each one a bird can sit or as I try to put a bird up I will readjust as we go and there's the bird whatever you want to put up on the top maybe you want to put the cardinal up on the top what would be the number one summer bird you can also make this the same bird so it's in other words it's a, a um, it is a uh, um, a flock of something coming in and like I did mention not only this 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 shape here not only the blue jay uh, and the cardinal but also the um, cedar waxwing come chirping in oops maybe even some pine siskins coming in what is your favorite bird well, see, one like I'm from Minnesota would be the loon, but loons don't land on trees. Or you can just have a tree like this. Yeah, like I said, a tree like this with a big owl on top. Now, this uh, tree can also be used, like here, if I flip it over here, you don't even have to have the, uh, the face. You know, you can have, um, you know, like this and a couple of snowmen with a white base. Maybe a couple of trees, maybe about half the size, and you know it doesn't have to be that big unless you want to have it that big. And if you do plan on doing trees uh, plural, make sure they're different sizes, just just by a little bit. They don't have to be identical. Well, maybe they can. I mean, folk art you can have two, three identical size trees, but if you have a little one just a little shorter and one a lot shorter and whatever. Um, it'll add, uh, it'll add to it, add the, uh, um, what was the interest? I know I'd get there, but, uh, there you have it. Uh, I did do some cleaning I'd probably do need to do some more, get in there and do your 10% one way, 10% the other way. Now how I paint it and you'll see the picture. I'll paint it the same way so I don't have to remember. 
what I tell you is uh, I like to take a nice deep forest greenish kind of color and uh, paint it all all the way around then I take a, a really dark blue either navy blue even a, a dark true blue I mean there's a lot of true regular ordinary blues but uh, from different companies paint companies is kind of different it's take the darker of them and you take a, uh, a brush and you just shove some blue up in there and then you take your water and and just kind of so what happens is you get, you get a little bit of blue, but then it, it just fades into green. You don't want any sharp lines. There's blue, there's green. It just fades into green. Uh, you might have a, a blue-green would be more... Uh, I like the blue because, because for some reason, I mean, like I said, I've worked at, uh, before I work, uh, or I'm at the um, tree farm, and I see evergreen trees all the time at at the tree farm and it just kind of has this when you go in there and it gets dark it just turns into this blue color when it comes to the spruces for sure the spruces and the same with the scotch pine so either that you could take a deep dark blue and a dark green and, and mix it together and shove it in there but of course it's got to be darker than the than the than the green that you got there you could uh, do different, this is where you could practice uh, all your character faces. You could happy face, sad face, scared face. Uh, the other thing too is next time you can make it smaller and make the face this big. I think the face might be a little too big, but uh, I'm okay with it. And that's what I like about carving. Now this isn't really, I want to say the first time I ever carved a tree with a grin on it, but... Um, well, this is the first time I have it where we're going to have some uh, summer birds. That's, <clears throat> but uh, that's to me is like I carve one thing and I look at it and and I'd say, well, you know, maybe I could have a smaller face, um, you know, and uh, maybe maybe a wider piece that goes like this, or I, I don't know, so many different, and you do it again. A lot of people they carve it, it's done. Yeah, and you just, just sometimes you just don't have the time, but uh, they would they would carve something and then it's done and then go on to the next. But in order to really improve not only your carving skills and other your knife handling skills, but also your artistic skills, is stuff like that. That's when I always hear people say, you know, I don't have any artistic skills. Yeah, yes, you do. Is you you look at something and you say, you know, I would do it a little different. And I wish people would do that more. I wish carvers would just do that more. Look at something. How would you do it differently? Somebody else's wood carving. How would you do that differently? How would you make it your own? Anyways, I still got a, a little bit of odds and ends here. But there we have it. The happy summer tree. I'm going to call it spring slash late spring slash summer uh, so summer with all these birds of course that would be mid spring to like up here like all the uh, warblers would disappear in like late august but memorial day you might see a warbler here and there uh, but then by september they're gone all the nice summer birds are gone Anyways, there we are. Just in time, you see the sun starting to come in, and he's happy. We got the sun, he likes the sun. All right, until the next project. <laughs>